Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm making delicious red velvet waffles. I love waffles, but this is one of my favorite. You need a waffle iron for waffles, but if you don't have one, just make pancakes. They come out just as good. So now let's jump right in. Alright, first we have to make the waffle butter. This is actually really easy. First we have to get our wet ingredients together. For that we need two eggs. Ensure that you grab the right ones. <laughs> grab a bowl and crack in our two choice eggs. Next, add quarter cup of sugar, three tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to give that a quick whisk to dissolve the sugar and combine everything. So the next ingredient should have been buttermilk, but I couldn't get any buttermilk, so I'm substituting with regular whole milk. Teaspoon of vinegar, teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of red food coloring. Give that another nice twist to combine everything together, and that's it for the wet ingredients. Great, now it's time for dry ingredients. Grab a second bowl. To that, add two cups of flour. A tablespoon of cocoa powder. A teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking powder. Salt to taste, I use half a teaspoon. And we're going to whisk that together while slowly adding the wet mix. It looks like I overshot the amount of flour. I had the two cups, but I think a cup and a half was enough. No worries though, just add a couple splashes of milk to thin it out. Or if it was too thick, a little flour would thicken it. Either way, waffles are very forgiving. Careful not to overmix though, as soon as everything is homogenous, you can stop mixing. That looks nice. Time to cook our waffles. But first, let's set up the waffle station. I'm placing my waffle iron on a baking tray so if it runs over, cleanup is so much easier. I'm just going to preheat the waffle iron. This takes about a minute. iron has a non-stick surface but I'm still brushing it with melted salted butter it adds a bit of flavor and it gives me a waffle with much better texture go ahead and lay the linear butter the best way to lessen cleanup is to not make a mess in the first place pouring the right amount of butter won't lead to a spillover Waffles are ready. One on the left could take a bit more butter, but that's not a big deal for me. These took two and a half minutes, so it's really quick. If you want crispier waffles, leave them in for a bit longer. I like crispy waffles, by the way, but not for this recipe. Now 
these waffles are light and fluffy and it smells amazing. Let's plate it up. Two waffles this size should be good. I have some honey banana. I think I'm going to use one. These are really sweet. A lot sweeter than regular banana and they have extremely thin skins. Slice it nicely and I'm going to place a couple slices on top of the waffles. Only thing we need now are one scoop of chocolate ice cream. A nice dusting of powdered sugar. And finally, a drizzling of chocolate syrup. And our red velvet waffles with chocolate ice cream is done. It's like a hundred degrees right now, so I'm going to dig in before my ice cream completely melts. Oh, that's nice. It's rich but not overly sweet and the waffles, banana and ice cream combo works deliciously together. Make sure you give this one a try. Oh, and try a cooler day so your ice cream doesn't melt faster than you can eat it. The weather right now is roasting. 